Many centuries ago, the red kite was a common sight in the skies over rural England. It was more than likely our most common bird of prey. However, in the 16th century, several Acts of Parliament declared that the kite was vermin and should be killed off. But what had brought about the untimely death warrant for the kites? Were, were really misunderstood um, back in the 19th century and, and before then. People assumed that because they were big birds of prey that they must be killing large animals um, like lambs or, or game birds. It's true that they might be able to kill a pheasant poult, the baby pheasants that are put out at the beginning of the year, but certainly a fully grown healthy pheasant um, has nothing to worry about uh, when it comes to red kites. From about the mid-1800s onwards their numbers started to drop. So from about 1830, you wouldn't have found kites, for example, in Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire. Um, the last breeding record of kites was in the 1870s in Shropshire. Um, and after that, the only breeding records of kites were in Wales. The organisations involved were the then Nature Conservancy Council, which later became English Nature, and the RSPB, the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. And they decided to reintroduce red kites from Spain back into England, and the Chilterns was the first reintroduction site. There are approximately 400, 450 breeding pairs of red kites in England. In Scotland, approximately 100 pairs, breeding pairs. In the Chilterns, uh, a conservative estimate is 300 to 350 breeding pairs of red kites now. quite usual to have two or three chicks in a nest um, but the red kite can lay anything from one to four to four eggs. The red kite eggs are incubated for 30 days plus or minus 30 days. The chicks are then fed by both parents which goes on for several weeks. They will tear small pieces of food and feed the chick. Um, after several weeks the chicks are able to, to feed themselves um, and they, they usually take their first flight from the nest when they are seven or eight weeks old. The live prey usually takes a form of small mammals, mice, voles. Even though they're, they're a large bird, I mean they're you know, a five, five and a half foot wingspan, they don't have much strength. So they're physically incapable of taking large prey in their talons. The largest size they could probably take is a small baby rabbit. Anything bigger than that and they are going to struggle.
The reintroduction of red kites has been a bigger success than anyone could possibly have imagined. Um, they went from literally being extinct in England and Scotland to now having a breeding population of over a thousand breeding pairs across the whole of the country. So that's absolutely amazing and obviously a lot of people, a lot of hard work has gone into the reintroduction. The support of the, the local people and the landowners and the gamekeepers, the, they've been really, really supportive and this has led to the, such a success of the reintroduction programme. Thank you.